What's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to give you a free pick in the Monday Night Football game between the Seattle Seahawks and the New York Giants. Before I get into that, I'm going to recap how today went, how this weekend went. You know, last week sucked. Monday, Thursday, Friday, we, we lost. We went 0 for, I think we went like 0 for 14 or something like that. And uh, I just want to show you guys, that is how the game goes, man. That is how the game goes. We go 0 for 14. If you're betting the same amount each play, that's 14 units lost. Well, look at this one right here. That's 20 units gained right there, right? Here's another screenshot uh, that somebody, one of my friends sent me that I'm sending plays to, uh, to get down on. $9,000 wins right there. Two $9,000 wins within an hour, and then a couple 2000s and a 1000 So Saturday night, I think he was hitting it a little smaller and nibbling away, maybe $100 plays right there. And then he ups his plays to 400 on Sunday, knowing that the account's probably gonna get limited. That's the idea that we just go in aggressive on Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then on Monday, the underdog employees get to work. They see how much money we've made, they limit the account, and then it's rinse and repeat. There's new people that wanna step up to the plate and hit a home run each and every week. Now, I've been doing a pretty crazy special over on my website, and I'll be honest with you guys, last week, I ran a special where I did a week pass, and I put a guarantee on that, where if it didn't get, if it didn't profit, I was gonna give you the full season for free. It was looking like it wasn't gonna profit, and then bang, we hit three 20 axes and a 10 ax late Saturday night, and that carries our whole week, that carries our whole weekend. And NFL today, I mean, we were one extra point from the Miami Dolphins away, from winning huge, winning a couple of 20Xers, two 20X plays. So because McDan Coach McDaniels and the Dolphins decides to go for two points when he's down 11, literally for no fucking reason at all, does not make any sense in the world, he goes for two, and then Jalen Waddle scores a touchdown that gets called back because the backup center that's in the game for Miami decides to run block on a pass play and an ineligible man downfield, that cost me personally $22,000. Like, I'll go back here for a second. When you see these, like 220Xs, that was six grand each on those. And then I had a bunch of uh, 2000s to 4000s tied up. I did the math just to make myself a little bit more sick about what had transpired. And it cost me 22 grand, give or take a couple grand, I forget. But like, I added it up and I was like, fuck, dude. And then Devontae Adams, two more yards for Adams, and I would have made another eight Gs. So I'm doing the math here, and I'm like, bro, I am getting so unlucky. Now, still up on the weekend, still on the green, but not nearly as lucrative as last weekend. And we can't complain about winning weekends. We haven't had a losing weekend yet. We're five weeks into the season, and I don't think we'll have a losing weekend this whole time. We might lose a Saturday or a Sunday, but the win on Saturday, it outweighed the losses on Sunday. And you look at these wins. I mean, when you're pulling in nine grand on, on two wins right there, 18 grand on two plays, guys, it's hard to lose money uh, doing this the way that we're doing. But I wanted to put a message out there before I get to the picks. Like, look, risk the same amount every single play. You see all, all these screenshots of people winning nine grand, 10 grand in my group chat. These are clients that have built their bankrolls up from week one. So if you're just jumping on board right now, don't be afraid to throw down $10 a play, $5 a play. Like don't go all in on the plays because I will have stretches where I lose 25 plays in a row. Like I'm gonna go 0 for 25, but when I hit a couple 20 X's and it covers all those 25 losses. So just understand that we could go 0 for 25. So if you can't afford to lose $100 25 times, if you don't have 2,500 to lose, Lower your freaking bet amount. And trust me, the wins will help you grow your bankroll, then you can up your unit size. But I see people that are broke and they hit me up and they're stressed and I feel sorry for them because it sucks to be broke. I've, I've been broke before in my life and it fucking sucks. But you know what? I also wasn't a degenerate gambler when I was broke and I also wasn't betting money I didn't have. When I was broke, I was betting $2 a play. My unit size was $2. I was throwing out $2 on every play. Just learning, just going through the motions, learning, knowing that, hey, I'm gonna get some income, I'm gonna get a good job one day, and then I can raise the units. Now I do this full time for a living, I'm limited, I'm banned, you know, I'm limited on this platform. And, and what I'm really gonna go for here, I'm gonna jump right into the free pick and show you guys, 
But DK Metcalf, last two weeks, he's really emerging as the receiver one in Seattle. New York Giants don't really have a receiver one. It's not easy to pick somebody here. Um, but I'm going to go with Darren Waller, and I'm going to pray that he doesn't get hurt because he gets hurt a lot. He really does get hurt a lot. And I wouldn't be opposed to taking the under there for the Giants, uh, taking both unders. You look at Daniel Jones' performances, they haven't been great, man. And this Seattle defense, it's not its not a bad defense. It's pretty fucking solid secondary. Um, but we'll probably, we'll probably go four overs here. I'm definitely going over on Geno and DK. Let's see what uh, let's see what our friends over at FanDuel have to say about this one, though. Let's like I've told you guys before, it's kind of like I have my own opinions, but then it's what the calculator says. If I think the answer is X and the calculator is saying it's two X, I'm gonna trust the calculator. I'm not gonna be a wise guy and try to pretend I know more than FanDuel's algorithm, man. So let's see what they're saying here. So if we go all four over, um, Gino. And then we go, not Daniel Jones, what are we doing? Rushing yards, where's receiving yards? And we go Waller, and we go DK. That is going to be 100 to win 554. Now if I go Waller under, if I go Waller under and Jones under, that's going to be 700. So you don't want to go two overs and two unders. And you know what's funny? I've seen some of these wise guys. Like, there's guys that are, you know, nerds, Ivy League math guys. And, and they're on these other pages. They talk about plus EV betting and stuff like that. One of them told me he likes to go double over and double under like this. Well, there's a reason it pays 700 whereas if you go four overs, it pays 554 So four overs is the most correlated play, strongest correlation, and that's proof there when you look at FanDuel. So we're going to trust FanDuel and it's going to give us a much bigger edge. Now if you're new here on the page, I ended up going on a crazy run to start the season, turned three grand into 13 and what basically happened is I got limited. Let's see if I can get this down. So I'm, I'm limited to a hundred dollars per entry here. I'm limited a hundred dollars per player too. I can only win a thousand on a, on a particular player. So I'm just going to go all in on this one. It's a good play, and uh, that's your free pick right there. So I'll show you guys that right there, and uh, that's your play. That's your free pick. I wish I could put more money on it. I can't. Um, one more thing before we get out of here. I'm going to end up uh, restocking this week pass for you guys. If you watch to the end of the video, I'm, I'm going to try not to advertise this too much. So if you watch to the end... You'll, actually, I'm probably going to advertise it a lot. I want to sell it out quick. But I'm going to restock this. Um, plays will be emailed all week. I'm going to write this in so people know. Um, you, will get, you will get plays for Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The goal... The goal here is to help smaller, I don't want to say that because I don't want to write any sports betting related shit on my page because it'll get, it might get flagged. So the goal here, I'll tell you guys the goal. The goal here is to help smaller bettors build their bankroll up. It's 50 bucks. If your unit size is $20 or more, buy this. It's going to sell out quick. $50. I'm going to limit it to 100 slots. And uh, I will email you fuckers. So keep checking your email. And look, when I send a bunch of people an email at once, it flags it as spam. So check your spam. And also, before you click checkout, make sure you type your email in correctly. The only way you won't get the email is if you misspell your email, you can't type your own email in correctly, or you don't know how to check your spam folder. Because I'm fucking sending it to all of you, I promise. I'm, I am, and my assistant, she's the sharpest it gets. She's definitely sending it to all of y'all. We still get idiots emailing us all the time. No offense to all, no offense to you guys watching, but we get some dumb emails. And if you guys, I should do a video on how stupid some of the questions are we get. And I'm, and I'm not trying to be mean. They're just that dumb where I have to say, look, do not email us dumb questions. If you have a question, post it publicly in the group chat and other people will answer but look, this is going live right now. 
So uh, just fucking get ready, man. S sell it out quick. It's 100 slots, and I'm going to email you all Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And if we don't profit, I'll give you Sunday free. I'm not going to put the full season on it. If we don't profit, it sucks. I'm going to give you all good picks. You all know my track record by now. There's a little bit of a risk, but over the course of four days, I'm probably going to be profitable. If I'm not, I'll give you Sunday uh, for free and uh, no no season pass guarantee. But this shit's going to sell out quick, so go buy it. I'll put the link to this in the pinned comment and in the description. So that's all I've got for you all. Have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.